The Association for Consultancy and Engineering ACE is a British business association in the field of consultancy and engineering. ACE represents around 450 member companies, large and small, that provide professional engineering expertise in delivering, maintaining and upgrading economic and social infrastructure across the UK. It was established in 1913 as the Association of Consulting Engineers, and was renamed in 2004. ACE's current chief executive is Hannah Vickers who replaced previous chief executive Dr. Nelson Ogun Shaken OBE in September 2018. <laughs> <laughs> Structure Members are typically businesses providing consultancy and other professional services in the field of engineering. Their areas of expertise include buildings, transport, utilities, environment and construction and are located throughout the United Kingdom, but many operate worldwide. The board is responsible for the key strategic direction and corporate development of the organization. It is made up of representatives from member companies. The advisory group provides ACE with political and industry connections. The group consists of highly positioned individuals from a wide range of backgrounds representing politics, government, academia, legal and financial institutions, as well as professional and industrial bodies. <laughs> Activities ACE represents its members and promotes their interests to government and other stakeholders. It also provides a number of opportunities for members to share knowledge and best practice with each other. ACE creates and sells standard contracts for their use in construction and engineering projects. In addition to ACE agreements, it also sells FIDIC agreements, infrastructure conditions of contracts and IET contracts. In addition, it organizes a number of events and conferences, including their annual European CEO conference. Groups ACE's groups across the United Kingdom provide members with an opportunity to engage on a local level. Established groups cover the devolved nations Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales, there are also further regional groups for London and the South East, the Midlands, the North West and the North. Groups establish ACE opinion and policy on various issues including property, roads, rail, sustainability and water. Specialist groups provide operational advice on HR, finance, membership and legal matters, or represent members based on their size. Topic. Progress Network The Progress Network is the group for emerging industry leaders in the first 15 years of their careers. It organizes career development opportunities across the UK. It is currently sponsored by ACE member, Mott MacDonald. Topic. Technical Apprenticeship Consortium TAC. ACE provides the Secretariat for the Technical Apprenticeship Consortium TAC, which brings together consultancy and engineering firms to encourage the recruitment and training of technician and degree apprentices. The consortium has enabled more than 1,500 placements since its formation in 2010 and now offers six qualifications across rail design, civil engineering, building services engineering and transport design. Topic. Environmental Industries Commission EIC. The Environmental Industries Commission EIC was founded in 1995 to represent the interests of those companies working in the environmental business sector. It became part of ACE in 2012. Topic. Infrastructure Intelligence ACE produces the magazine Infrastructure Intelligence which publishes six print editions a year and produces twice-weekly e-updates. 
It covers news in the UK's infrastructure sector, as well as providing a platform for expert analysis. It has 26,500 unique visitors a month. Topic: Research. ACE produces research-based reports, mainly to support its ongoing lobbying, public affairs and stakeholder engagement activity. Scrapping the Levy argues for reform of the Community Infrastructure Levy and was written based on freedom of information requests to local councils. Unlocking Housing argues that only an approach which marries placemaking, meaningful engagement and more power for local councils will solve the housing crisis. Piloting reverse mentoring shares the results of a nine-month ACE-led cross-industry pilot into reverse mentoring, which is where junior members of staff mentor more experienced decision makers within a company. Funding Roads for the Future argues that the government should change its approach to vehicle excise duty and replace it with a «dynamic road user charging» system. ACE argues that this system should reflect the social and economic circumstances of road users, as well as the environmental impact of their journey. <laughs> Past chairman The following individuals have held the position of chairman at ACE. <laughs> 